Welcome back to my channel everyone, Tiff Benson here and in today's video we are going to be discussing all things Jeremy Fragrance. First of all, this video is long overdue. I filmed this with him in the summer and now it's fall and life got the best of me as it always seems to but no worries, we're here to talk about him right now. So we filmed this in New York City and in pure New York City fashion, there's always an ambulance going off, there's horns honking, you know, I apologize for that in advance. There's absolutely nothing that I can do about it. There's no place like New York. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now and let's jump into the video. <laughs> Only in New York can yes. you hear the siren as soon as you get to start recording. <laughs> so, the main event, yeah. Here we go, guys. Yeah, you know it or not. I know it. Okay. Uh, I've smelt it on you, but I've never smelt it on myself. Wow, okay. <laughs> You want to put it in here on here? So it's very spicy at the start, but mm -hmm. you know it by now, of course. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Thanks. Sexy. I agree. It has a sexy edge to it, mm -hmm. but the main focus was to have it nice in the office. Yeah. But not boring office, fresh and clean. It has some iris, it has some pepper that brings a bit of a addition besides that fresh and clean vibe. It also uses the most modern molecules that Firmenich has, the oil company, and they are the leader in the molecule business. So instead of Hedion, they use Paradision, which is a new molecule and some type of luxury version of Hedion. Mm. And <laughs> don't ask me what. And we are very happy with it, and it's super long-lasting, and I love it. And it's by Alberto Marias, my favorite perfumer. Yes. <laughs> How long does it last for you? I would say 24 hours, but of course, then you have to really... You still get some muskiness left on the, from that fragrance. It's almost kind of like woody, and um, woody yes. and sweet and playful. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm impressed. Okay, Jeremy. <laughs> Hi, Tiff Benson. Watch us, <laughs> viewers. Nice to be here on this channel. This woman has such an aura about her. It's like she has an aura around her. It's very nice. Thank and you. yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to be here. Thank you for liking the fragrance. Yes. And just talked a little bit about upcoming adventures of yours, more yes. on the skincare side. So we also thought if that would be something in and on, and for me, and of is of an interest. But generally, I wish you a lot of luck with that. Thank and you. Thank you for giving me a chance to represent me and my brand on your channel. Yes, <laughs> we're going to talk more about this in the days to come. Yes. So a couple of things. Jeremy is a huge inspiration. He is a force in the fragrance community. I know a lot of men aspire to be like him. I know a lot of YouTubers want to be in his position. I'm sure for someone like him, it took a lot of time and a lot of effort to create this fragrance. And I really do applaud him for that. It's a big deal to be a business owner beyond just YouTube. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of planning, it's a lot of coordinating with people, it takes vision, and that is something to really be commended about. So congrats to you, Jeremy. My thoughts on the fragrance? The fragrance smells great. It's very likable. It's definitely something that's geared towards his audience, which I see them loving it and totally buying it up. If you've tried it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm super curious about what you think about it. It does last a long time. It is fresh. It's musky. I like it and I could also see myself wearing it, which is a good thing. In full transparency, I have not purchased this fragrance yet, but I will because I want to support Jeremy. 
Um, I will probably buy it around the holiday time because I'm thinking about doing a gift back to the community. So this, it wouldn't be for myself. It would be as a giveaway for this channel. If that's something that you think would be kind of cool, please let me know and again, give the video a thumbs up so that I can, so that I know that that's something that I should do here on this channel and within my fragrance community here on YouTube. We had some time to chat and talk about other ventures that we're both working on. He has his Fragrance One, which is doing really great. His YouTube channel is like over the moon successful. That's pretty amazing in itself. And I'm working with Sephora now as a part of their Sephora squad, which I'm really excited about and I'm super proud of. They have changed my life. It has been a life-changing experience working with them and understanding more about the business, the real beauty business and fragrance business and beauty industry as a whole. It has been mind blowing and I just see so many opportunities to, to come down the road for Jeremy, myself, and other YouTubers. If you stay focused and if you get your game plan right, there is nothing, there's literally nothing that you cannot do and there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Jeremy is living proof. And I don't want to toot my own horn, but so am I. <laughs> So beyond meeting Jeremy Fragrance over this summer, so many things have happened. I have to update you on so, so much. I went to Sephora in LA. I went to Paris with Atelier Cologne. I'm moving, thinking about buying a house, looking. I'm in production for that now. I've started a new channel here on YouTube. It's a skincare, beauty, lifestyle channel, which I'll be sharing more of my lifestyle updates and just things that are happening with me. There I'm going to do some beauty stuff, but I'm also going to do more vlogging, which I'm happy about. It's just, it just seems like the right space for it. I feel like on this channel, you guys don't really dig my vlogs, but that's neither here nor there. It's also been on my heart lately to share more about what I do behind the scenes, how I'm working with Sephora, how I'm working with brands, how I'm earning a living. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been sick for a while too. How I'm earning a living here on YouTube, online, not going into a corporate office, not going to a boss and saying, hi, pay me. No, I am a boss. You know, and I kind of want to share that message online because there's so many people that ask me, how do I do it? How do I make money online? What's happening behind the scenes? And I'm, I feel like I'm at a point now where I'm ready to open up about it and share that with you. So this was just like a little quick update, but I think I will put a full Let's Talk Life update together on the channel. I'm gonna wrap this video up right now. I love you forever. Thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate your time here on this channel. Watch what's up next, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I stopped filming and then I forgot I didn't share with you my scent of the day, and I will right now. Leave your scent of the day in the comments because this is mine. It is Musk by Reminiscence, which I love. I bought this when I was in Duty Free in Nice, and I just fell in love with it. It's a beautiful scent. It, will forever remind me of my travels abroad, my first time in Europe. Um, this one has almond, amber, vanilla. It smells very cottony. It smells slightly powdery. It's slightly floral. It's just a beautiful musk scent, which I really, really love. And, um, you know, it's my scent of the day. Your girl's going to the gym getting a workout on. <laughs>
So uh, yeah, let me know what your scent of the day is. You know, I'm super curious, okay? And now back to me sitting down in the chair, okay? Bye.